For thousands of students, going to school is considered to be a painless process. Remaining attentive in class, participating in the activities, and performing well in group and independent settings come natural to such children. Unfortunately, this is not true for everyone, especially for children with ADHD. ADHD, or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, makes it very difficult for students to find success and enjoyment in the classroom. Fortunately, teachers have the ability to enhance the school experience for individuals with ADHD, allowing students to flourish despite the hardships they face. ADHD, or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, is a condition that causes individuals to have difficulty with controlling behavior, sitting still, and paying attention. Although doctors are unsure what causes ADHD, researchers hypothesize that individuals may not have enough neurotransmitters to help the brain control behavior. Researchers also suggest that genetics, environmental factors, such as exposure to teratogens during pregnancy, premature delivery, low birth weight, and brain injuries may also be responsible. The ideas that sugar consumption, TV watching, poverty, or social factors cause ADHD have very little research support. In 2000, the American Psychiatric Association divided ADHD into three distinct categories. The first category is ADHD, predominantly inattentive type. In this form of ADHD, an individual has difficulty getting focused or remaining focused during a task or activity. These telltale signs indicate a child may have inattentive type ADHD. They often do not pay close attention to details. They have difficulty focusing on play or schoolwork. They don't follow instructions or complete school assignments. They are often disorganized. They are easily distracted and easily lose things such as toys, schoolwork, and books. The second category is ADHD, hyperactive impulsive type. This is characterized by overactiveness and spontaneous, unthought through action, or impulsivity. This form of ADHD is indicated by fidgeting and squirming, constant motion in the classroom, such as leaving their desk or running around the classroom, trouble playing quietly, incessant talking, lack of discernment on when and where to speak, and having difficulty taking turns or participating properly in group activities. The third category is ADHD combined type. Individuals with this form of ADHD exhibit qualities of both hyperactive impulsive and inattentive types. ADHD affects both males and females. It is usually diagnosed in childhood and may carry over into adulthood. Approximately 4.5 million children ages 3 to 17, or 3 to 7 percent of this demographic, have ADHD. Boys are two to three times more likely to have ADHD than their female counterparts. However, this may be due to the fact that boys are more likely to display outward physical signs reminiscent of ADHD symptoms. In the classroom, those with ADHD can have various difficulties. The biggest challenge is remaining attentive in class. Other students with ADHD may display behavioral issues. Regardless, it has been proven through research that students with ADHD often have less academic success than those without ADHD. Children with ADHD can also have difficulty forming social relationships. Research has shown that children with ADHD are often rejected by their peers, possibly due to the presence of aggression or passive behavior. Children with ADHD are also more likely to be bullied or to bully than those without ADHD. They also have difficulty making or keeping friends, show lower levels of social competence, and have less social knowledge. Fortunately, individuals with ADHD may receive special education services under IDEA or the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. In IDEA, ADHD is placed under the Other Health Impairments category.
Ultimately, teachers have the ability to have the greatest effect on the academic and social abilities of children with ADHD by making accommodations or modifications to lessons, activities, and the classroom environment, creating behavioral interventions, and offering immediate feedback, success can be achieved. Most of all, teachers need to remember to maintain a positive attitude with children with ADHD. Despite the challenges they face, they have the ability to succeed.